What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, y'all. I'm coming back in. I'm going in today. I'm feeling, feeling pretty good, so I'm not that I don't feel bad, but I'm just saying I'm just on a roll with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I got stuff on and popping. So let me go in You buy the intro alone. You should already know who I am, so, but, and even before the intro, I think some of y'all know who I am, so, let's get that out of the way. Today I'm going to talk about what lies in store for the black community. Now, now, now your ears are up, because, like, nine chances out of ten, you're saying he's about to go in, which, yeah, I'm about to go in on these motherfuckers. I'm about to go in on the black church, in the WACP, the Urban League, these photo op vultures, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, and the like, and other jokesters. You know, they're just, they're just, how I say, they're just profiting off of your money, your sweat, your blood, your tears, literally. They're making a profit off of this. People need to follow the, look, I, I, I said on the last video, and I don't know if I'll upload it before I upload this video, but I, I'm telling you right now, if black people had a lick of sense, as a whole, you will follow the ways of the NY and the black Hebrew Israelites. Now, I don't know ever says, why don't we like fair and fun? Well, that's, that's a personal opinion. If you don't like somebody, I don't, there's people I don't like, I don't associate with them. If you don't like fair and that's, that's your thing, that's whatever. But the, the organizations, those two, have a consistent track record, and they're credible, and they're stable, and they, they go, they'll get your attention. But no, you know, the old way of thinking is the same one percent. This is what black people look. Black folks say we're not Americans, but the same one percent controls the ninety-nine percent. We're Americans, folks. Sorry, in the black community, the same thing happens. What it is is a lot of these, a lot of these puppet masters. That's what I'll call them. They've been trained to do this. Who do you think they've been trained by? Who do you think Sharpton got trained by? Who do you think Jackson got trained by? They're trained to do this. People, look at the NAACP. Remember back in the day they used to be something and until about the late 80s? You, you don't, what do they do now? There's like probably, in, in your local branch, who works there? Probably what, two people? What, there's probably four people all together that work there? And look at the biggest donors. Who gives an NAACP? It's not you guys. I don't see any sports stars and you actors and you athletes giving an NAACP or even Mickey. Although I do give it overly, but that's another topic. But uh, the NAACP, the judges and the policemen and businessmen that aren't are color. That's why it's called the NAACP, color people. The Urban League, they don't do nothing outside of collect money. They may have something for kids, they may have little tap dance shows, and this and that and third. But as far I'm talking about, when I feel like this, when I say these organizations don't do anything, I mean as far as taking stances and being proactive, they don't. Back in the day, the NAACP used to do this, but they don't do that no more. They, they just, look, all these organizations, including the black church that I had just mentioned, are nothing but taking your money, taking your blood, taking your sweat and your tears, and profiting on it and move to the next scenario. Look what happened to Ferguson. Look what happened down in Orlando, with, I think it was Orlando, with uh, Trayvon Martin. Look at the Sean Bell case. But every four or five years, every five, six years, stuff like this happens, and everybody gets to fill their coffers back up. Meanwhile, some of the family loses their loved one. And what do you guys do? You guys accept that. Why? Well, it's Al Sharpton. That's Jesse Jackson. But if you look in their, their own neighborhoods or their own home, Rome's burning. Look at Jesse Jackson. Look at Chicago. You know what the joke is some people tell about Chicago? Like, like I said, shout out to my cousin Chicago. I love him to death. What's up? Here's a joke. Come to, welcome to Chicago, you know. Was 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 it says welcome to Chicago. Come for the food, stay cause you got murdered. I mean and and, and he's in Ferguson and Jesse's gallivanting around. You don't have no delicate, you don't have nobody you have next to you. He's, he's a glory hound. Look at look at Al Sharpton. 
trust me, folks, Brooklyn ain't as sweet as you think. It's, it's because the Nets moved to what you call the Atlantic over there. Go, you go to Crown Heights. Go to Bed Stuy. Certain parts that are getting bought out. Go to fucking uh, East New York. Go to fucking um, go to Brownsville. Go to a lot of these spots. It's not like I said. It, it takes crime down. Then you go to Brooklyn, like crime shot up like fucking under twenty percent. Like I said, Sharpen ain't in Brooklyn. Sharpen lives in some loft in fucking Manhattan, probably. Old oh, fucking try Becca ass. Uh, this is the point I'm trying to make to you folks. You folks, you see a character on the outside, but then, then this is what I'm. Gonna, this is, if you look at Facebook and Twitter, this is what we do a lot. We see that we see something on the outside. We see like old girls shaking her ass, which. If you're a stripper, that's your business. I, I, I mind you getting your money like that. What I don't like is the chicks are going for free. It's like there's certain there's some promotion you have to do. I understand, but a lot of these chicks on Facebook are doing this shit for free, and it, it boggles my mind. I'm like, get paid to do it at least. Back to the top of hand. You look at Facebook and Twitter. We like surface shit. Now the black community does not like scratching the surface, and the ones that do scratch below the surface. We're sellouts, we're this, we're that, you know, all leave him alone, he has a proven track record. What's their track record? The only, the only thing you can tell me that Jesse Jackman has done that was major was release the hostages in Libya. That's it. Other than that, you can't tell me nothing. Look at Reverend Al Sharpton. Before, look, 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 he's known for two things to a lot of people. On a brawly, and now that he allegedly he ate the cheese, so I'm just I'm just telling you, these are facts that you guys don't want to deal with. These is this is stuff that's on your table, and you have to eat this, you know. And, and then look at a lot of pro, and look at this. You don't you don't hear Reverend Jackson, you, you hear myself and others. You don't hear Sharpton. You hear none of these people speak out on these social programs that cause the demise of the black community. Look, man, you have to be, we have to put it on ourselves to be responsible that, like, we took this okie doke from the government. Lyndon Baines Johnson, that old racist motherfucker who was a president, he told, he even told you guys he'll sell these niggers or whatever, and he did. He had y'all down, and, and like I said, at the time, I understand what you're saying. You may thought it was good for the time, but nobody in the right mind has to think that putting a man out the fucking house is a good idea and giving a woman money for nothing. I'm just saying, what, let me put this, what, what type of business runs like that? Only the government can run like that, one on one, because they're the fucking government. We pay them, they get money out of us. But no one in the right mind, now look, look, look at the mentality now. If, if, if two young people, first of all, if they, if they graduate high school, if, if they, hell, they don't have to, if they get their GED, what they do, they have kids, well, she goes straight to child support. That's the mentality we have nowadays. A lot of us go to jobs before. No way want, and then there's no honor in working at McDonald's as a young kid. Why well, ain't working at McDonald's? I should start. You got motherfuckers who dropped out of high school who want to start off as a CEO at IBM. I'm like, where did they grow these fucking people at? And I, I, I'm not here talking to them. I'm not trying to explain to them. Here's what you're, here's what you're dealing with. This is for overall Americans, and all Americans are seeing this. A lot of these foreigners, and when I say foreigners, I'm not just talking about Mexico and. Africa. There's a lot of these foreigners from like India and China who come over here and okie doke your ass. I'm gonna explain how they okie doke you. What they do is they come here, they take maybe a menial job, maybe a custodial job, you know, maybe a, a, a maid service or a, you know, a landscaping. They do some stuff like that, or maybe they're at your job and they do a low entry, a level entry level job. You think, oh, that's all this, all that's all good old uh, Ganesh, you know, he's from India wherever and this and that and he's a good worker well come to find out there's a position open for uh at your job for a scientist meanwhile this motherfucker has a degree from his country from molecular science that's how they're fucking getting in this country and that's how they're doing it and i don't fault them for that i fault americans for not being hip to shit and getting their degrees and and, 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 and i mean a degree now they get a master degree Back in the day, you can get, like I said, my, I'm, I'm, we're, my generation is the last of a dying breed because we're in a generation, you can come out of school and get a good paying job. Like I said, when I, when I was in, when I, what happened with me is I was, I was going to college at the time and I was, I got a, I got a summer job at the mill. And when I started, look, I was making more money that summer than 
I ain't gonna lie, I make more money than people that had a degree. And to me, you know, in my mindset, I was thinking, you know, I was, I'm staying here. And that's what I did for those years. I worked in the mill, did what I had to do. And I was making more money. To this day, I got a job where I'm making more than some people that have degrees. But like I said, I have a, I have a trade that I'm, I'm, I have a craft that people I have a history that people know my work. So they're not afraid to hire me. That's another thing. Get a craft or a trade. Start a business. Come to social media. That's all of you folks don't want to use social media as a third lane. I use social media as a third lane with no fucking problem. And here's the and here's the thing. If you use social media, it can turn into a job. It can turn into a job that you like to do. Now you like being on Facebook and Twitter anyway. Talking talk about stupid shit. Talking about you're about to blow, you're about to turn up, or whatever the fuck it is you guys talk about. You can also make some money, and that's what I don't understand. To me, this is what I don't understand. Like, I don't want to be on social media, and I'm on it. Like I said, Facebook, I talk to all my friends on Twitter, this and that, third, like I said. I'm, I'm not from where I'm living at now. But for me, also, is I used it as a device to make some side income. So, I mean, that's how it works out. You know? But until, 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 until a lot of this stuff changes, until you decide you want leaders who are effective, until you get all these, and I don't want to say this because it'll look like I'm hate, like I'm hating, but I'm not hating. It's the truth. A lot of we got to push a lot of these older Negroes out the way. It's like if you're if you're past if you're 55 and up, and you're talking like Reverend Allen and Jesse here, you got to get pushed out the way. Like I said, I'm, uh, for, for me and mine, we talked about this already. We're not asking no more. We got our game plan. We're going to do it. You may not like it, but you guys got no choice to it. We're doing our thing, and that's it. And you, you, you can either leave, follow, get out of the way. And right now, you only got two options. That's follow and get out of the way. And pretty soon, it's going to be get out of the way. So, I'm out of here. Think about that. Peace.